Hey, it's Steve. If you're looking for a sun tracking mount for the upcoming solar eclipses here in the US this fall and this coming spring, or just solar observing in general, the Skywatcher Solar Quest mount can be a great option. And today we're gonna look at this mount, how to set it up and how it works. I'm not gonna do a full unboxing, but everything does come very securely package, double box for all the components. And so uh, no problems there at all. You do get, of course, the tripod that does have the extendable legs, uh, the tripod spreader tray, which is also a nice place to store some of your accessories. You get an extension column for the tripod, which is a great way to get the head a little bit higher off the ground as well as prevent any longer telescopes from banging into the tripod legs. You, of course, get the mount head itself, and you get the adapter to connect the mount head to the extension column. Assembly is very straightforward. You just attach your adapter to the mount head, get that tightened down very securely, and then you can get your tripod set up, attach your spreader tray, which locks the legs in position, and then you can attach your extension column. And then you just place your adapter into the extension column, tighten the three thumb screws, and you're ready to attach your telescope. In this case, I'm using a Teleview 60 telescope with a one and a quarter inch Lunt Herschel wedge, which is a great way to view the sun. All I need to do is put this in the saddle and we're ready to observe. So it is going to take eight AA batteries. And this nine volt type battery plug allows you to plug in the adapter which can connect to an external power supply. So you need to have this adapter plug thing be on the side closest to the, where the telescope mounts. Otherwise it won't slide all the way in. So I have the solar quest mount here set up with a Canon DSLR here, just so I can record the video of what the mount's saying and show that to you here on screen. So setting up everything is very easy. Uh, you have a telescope here in the saddle, and then it's just a matter of setting things up outside, getting them out level. There is a bubble level up here. You don't have to be that accurate, but if you are perfectly level, it is gonna track more accurately for longer. So all you have to do is push the power button and wait for it to find the sun and start tracking. Okay, so I have a camera recording and I just turn the mount on, and what it does first is just go to a level horizontal position so it has that part figured out. And then after it obtains a GPS signal, which depending on your environment could take it a couple of minutes, it will point upwards to the height of the sun for your latitude and the current time of day. So you can see now it is tracking upwards towards the elevation of the sun. And now it's just going to slew to the right until it finds it. So that's why you wanna have this telescope pointed left of the sun so it finds the sun very quickly. If you have it pointed to the right of the sun, it's gonna do a full 360 degree turn until it finds the sun. It won't take that long, but it obviously saves you time to have it pointed left of the sun before you get started. And so you can see here, just like that, it is centered on the sun almost perfectly, just very slightly off center and we're done. And it's gonna keep tracking that way for as long as you have the mount on. Now you can use the joystick here to move the location of the sun in your eyepiece, or in this case, on the screen. It does move very, very slowly, but you can see it here moving towards the center of the screen. And you can kind of just get it lined up and then you're good to go. So anyway, this mount has worked out great for me. It's super easy to set up. Just put it outside, point it left of the sun, push the power button on. Within about two minutes, it's tracking the sun very accurately for a very long time. And so very easy and enjoyable to use. The main downside of this mount is that you can only use it for solar observing. It's not going to be any use for you at night. And so if you don't do a lot of solar observing or don't plan to, it might not be the best option for you in that regard. But if you are looking for a very easy to set up mount that you just turn on and it automatically works without really any hassle whatsoever, this is a great option. And certainly if you do a lot of solar observing, this is probably worthwhile just because it is so fast and so easy to use. But anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.